the first thing I'm going to do is what I've just been speaking about. I mean, I said about uh, giving, you know, sending commands via the serial console. That's what I'm going to need to do first. So Rayax have very kindly sent me these converters. Um, so I'll need to connect them up, and it's fairly easy because you know you've got the legend here that corresponds with this one here. So um, that's why this up. So we've got so 3.3 volts on the converter will of course go to VDD and what's next so we've got the grey wire which is TXD will go to RXD on the uh, module here then what have we got next we've got the white one which goes to RXD on here so it will go to TXD on the module and then I take it we must have ground after that so there's the first one connected and I'll obviously connect the other one in the same way. And now I've got both modules connected. Um, I'll connect them one by one to my PC. I'll go over to Arduino Studio and I'll configure them and show you how to do that. So I've created a new sketch and I'll choose COM11. So I've plugged the, uh, the Rayax module in and it's of course COM11 so now I'm going to press Control shift m and get the serial console so I'll need to check that uh, this is configured properly so I've got both new line and carriage return 115200 board um, so that's good now I'm just going to look through this documentation and let's do some playing about here so first of all let's say AT and it responds back OK. So I could do a reset, I could change the mode, we've got transmit and receive mode or sleep mode. Well, transmit and receive mode is ideal. Now address, now I do need to change the address, of course I do. So AT plus address equals, so the default is zero. Well, well, you know, I suppose we'll change it to zero anyway because I've got two modules so just to be sure because I've played about with these in the past so um, AT plus address equals zero okay so this module is now address zero and network ID defaults to zero which um, that will be fine so now what we need to do is disconnect and connect the other one and set the other one's address to one so I'll just I'll disconnect it now so I'll put the next one in now and let's set this one so it's plugged in hopefully it'll still be COM11 let's just check yep still COM11 so control shift M and I need to set the address don't I so AT plus address and this one's going to be 1 so 1 and it says OK so we're done there so I'll put the command guide to the side for a minute so I've now got um, the modules configured so now I'll go back over to the camera okay so I've got the two devices I've got one with address 0 and one with address 1 but now remember that all of these are serial devices the uh, Arduino Nano, uh, Pro Mini, Uno, the ESP32, ESP8266, you know, whatever, uh, and the Rex896, they're all serial devices. So they all have a TX pin and an RX pin. And they use the TX pin to transmit something, and they use the RX pin to receive something. So what I'm going to do here is that with the Nano, I'm going to use its TX pin, and I'm going to send a message via serial to the Rex's RX pin. Then what the Rayax will do is it will transmit whatever I've sent to it because of course I'm going to use the AT commands which is send so it's going to get uh, it's going to receive a command which will be send to the air and it will send it and then what I hope is that um, the other Rayax which will be um, you know the address the receiving address will get the message and it will transmit it out saying oh we've received this. So it'll transmit from its TX pin to the RX pin of the receiving nano. So it all sounds a little bit complicated, but it's really not. It's just a basic way of testing, and I can test the range and all this sort of stuff um, using this method. So now I thought I'd explain this. What's this here? Um, there's a little bit of an issue. 
with the Nano and the Rayax. See, the Nano is a 5 volt device and the Rayax is a 3.3 volt device. And so there's a little bit of a problem, but it's not major. So the Rayax isn't designed to deal with 5 volts and the Nano isn't designed to deal with 3.3 volts, although the Nano can deal with 3.3 volts. The Rayax is not recommended to give 5 volts. So what I've done here is I've made a very very simple voltage divider. So it gets the 5 volts from the Nano and it essentially resists off a third of that and um, and the voltage here will be 2 thirds which uh, 2 thirds of 5 volts is 3.3 .3, so we're fine. So yeah, uh, simple voltage divider 5k, 10k, ground. So we're good there. Right, so now I've done the planning, um, I'm going to show you the test rigs that I've made. Okay, so these are the test rigs. They're two nanos. Uh, they've got two LEDs. This one's got the resistors and this one hasn't. So the one with the resistors, um, that's because, of course, what I've just mentioned, the nano needs to reduce uh, the voltage to the uh, Rayox module in order for it w to work properly. But anyway, um, so this is going to be, this is address zero, so I'm going to get this one and I've already uh, worked out the position of this and I'm going to put it in right there. So that's the first one and now this one, I've already worked out the position again and this one is going to go in here. Um, I think I mentioned the pinout of the, um, the Rayx devices earlier. Uh, so if you just go back to the documentation, you'll see the pinout. Um, however, it's really easy. Pretty much, there's VDD, which is plus 3.3. .3. There's ground, there's RX, and there's TX. It's really simple. Right, so that's that. Now, I'll just explain why I've got LEDs here. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put this in one location and put this in another location, and the LEDs are going to blink. Uh, this one is going to blink when it's you know when the transceiver has transmitted a message and this one is going to blink if it receives a message which I specify so that's the way it's going to work and uh, very simple little um, test jigs if you like so the modules are in place and um, here's the battery or the first battery anyway so let's get this one powered up So that one's powered up, and the LED means, um, I think I've already said, but the LED means that um, a message is being transmitted from the Nano to the Rayax device transceiver, and therefore we can assume that the transceiver is transmitting the message. Okay, so that's that. Okay, and now the battery for the receiver. So the receiver um, is going to start blinking but I know I haven't shown you the code yet um, and I'll explain it. So it's receiving. So uh, the way this works is I've explained the transmitter but the receiver what it does is if there's something available on serial because obviously this sends the message back down to here if there's something available on serial and it contains the word hello because that's what this transmits, transmits the word hello then it blinks. It's really that simple. Okay so it would be good to go over the code, uh, which is going to be in the two modules. So this is the odd, you know, we're talking about the nanos. So we've got one nano which is acting as a transmitter, or you know, the whole thing together, including the Rayax module, will be acting as a transmitter, even though it's a transceiver. Um, we'll only be using the transmission um, functionality, and then the other one will be using that one as a receiver, which of course again is a transceiver, but we'll be using the receiving. Um, functionality. So LED pin 2, that's because we've got an LED on pin 2. Then we've got unsigned long, which is last transmission, which is a time management variable. Then we've got const int interval, which is going to hold the interval between transmissions. Then in setup, serial begin 115200, which is what I usually use. And this is, tran this is um, communication between the Arduino and initially the computer. But then after that, it will be between the Arduino and the uh, the Rayax module. So um, 
setup serial, then pin mode, LED, output, because of course we want that to be an output because we're going to use the LED as an output. We're going to, um, you know, we're going to output a signal from the Arduino to tell it to turn on or off. Then we go over to the loop. So if the time now is greater than the last transmission plus the interval, then a transmission is due. So send out via the serial TX pin, send this to the Rayax module. And the Rayax module RX pin will receive this message, which is an AT command, and it says AT plus send equals 1, which is the address to send to, 6 is the number of bytes, and here's the message, hello, exclamation mark. So when the Rayax module receives this AT command, it will hopefully transmit the message hello, and it'll transmit it to address 1. Well, in fact, it'll transmit it, let's say. It's up to address 1 to pick it up. Anyway, and then after it's done that, after it's sent the message to the Rayax module to transmit, then we hold the LED pin high for 100 milliseconds and then low, and then we record the last transmission. And that's all that's to the TX, um, the TX code. So that's that. Now, what happens on the RX side? Other the thing, then we've got a variable called incoming string to record the incoming string. Now, technically it doesn't need to be there. It could be over here, but anyway. So setup serial, again, this is with the PC initially, and then after that, we'll connect it to the Rayax module instead. And then it will then communicate with the Rayax module. Um, then pin mode, uh, LED output, which is the same as here. We're using the output pins um, in order to turn the LED on and off. Then in the loop, if serial available, so in other words, if we've received something back from the Rayax module to the Nano, uh, then incoming string equals whatever we've received from um, from the Rayax module. And according to the AT command guide, you get a little bit of um, stuff to go with the message. I think it's something like plus RCV, which means receive, and then some other stuff like the address it's come from and whatever else. Um, so I don't want to check the, I don't want to go too mad checking that, so what I've done is I've said if the incoming string index of hello is greater than zero, then whatever. So if we look into this a bit more, it's a bit peculiar. Um, you probably expect if the message contains or if the message equals, um, but I've deemed this to be easier. So essentially what it does, it, it returns the index of this string inside that string. So if um, if the index is greater than zero, that basically means if this string is inside the other string. So if it is inside the other string, then um, the index will be greater than zero, and therefore we know it's in there. So uh, let's just recap again. Um, so if we've received some serial data from the Rayax module, and the Rayax module serial data includes the word hello exclamation mark, then we know that we've received data from the transmitter and therefore we say digital right high to the LED pin delay for 100 seconds and then low so essentially what this is doing is that we get an indication that um, the transmitter module has sent the command to the Rayax module to transmit and then it says you know it blinks if you like to say it's done it and on this side if we've received something, and if that something is the hello message, which is from the transmitter, then blink. So all I'll do now is um, I'll put this one somewhere quite high up, uh, ideally, and um, this is the transmitter, and this one I'll take away and uh, move it around, and if it still blinks, then of course um, it's still receiving the hello message from the transmitter. So that's how I'm going to test the, uh, the range.